Hello friends, welcome to learn Microsoft Excel. Today we are going to learn conditional formatry. We have already seen part 1 of this. Let us continue with second part. Here we have some data. Now the first part is uh, we have seen highlight cell, top bottom rules. Now let us continue with data bars. Suppose here I have data in random order. I select it and want to give formatting data bars. Then like this data bars are appear. Okay. You can either see gradient field. Gradient field means dark to light color. Or you can also set solid colors. But if you want to uh, check it properly then let us go here and then give the conditional formatting. Now, now here let us see. Here numbers are in uh, increasing order therefore data bar is also appearing in increasing order but here as per the numbers it will either appear it, it will either occupy the whole cell or half cell as per the given values okay now you can also use here color scale but it is quite Difficult to understand because suppose uh, first let us clear this, then go to clear rule and clear from selected cell. Okay, now you can also use color scale. Okay, here is color scale. Now here dark to light, but suppose uh, here we have random number. And in this case, if you have a, if you apply a color, uh, uh, first of all, let us clear it. Now again, if you apply the color scheme, then it is quite difficult to understand. Okay. Like this, it will show the dark, uh, light to dark color. As well as you can also use here icons. Icons is used either for forecast or a, uh, for Sensex, stock market, or for news channel, like this, you can also see the icons. Suppose so we choose this now from bottom to up. Suppose I change this value, I uh, put here, or suppose I check, uh, change this value and put here 30. Okay, suppose I put here uh, 9. Like this icon, it change. Okay, you can also apply this conditional formatting as per the requirement of your rules. Here is also one more thing. Here is this condition formatting is also used. Use. These are the directional condition formatting. Okay. First of all, clear this rule and then again apply direction conditional formatting. Okay. Here is all are appearing down arrow. Let us appear for this. First of all, clear the rules. Here is conditional, uh, directional conditional formatting. Here also, if you change any value, then it will change. Okay. Like this, you can also use such type of icon conditional formatting. Okay. In this case, uh, we can also sort this data as per uh, according to the icon. Go to data, go to sort, and suppose here. We use number one instead of value. We use here suppose cell icon. Okay, and you use icon. Okay, now it will sort according to the icon. Okay, now um, whenever you choose uh, the icon, then according to the icon, it will change. Suppose here again, I choose another icon. Suppose I want this icon. 
okay then it will set the icons okay like this you can also sort the icon wise yeah, you you have to first apply the condition formatting then sort data icon wise okay thank you for watching the lecture we will continue in next lecture